Hello everybody, greetings to all. Well, welcome to Design Studio, my channel for Creo tutorials and some technical points. Uh, today we will do bending in sheet metal. Sheet metal is basically very vast, vastly used for the automobile sector and different other sectors. So in this tutorial we will see how we can bend. Bending is basically operation in which we create a secondary plane uh, with respect to a sheet. Uh, bending is done along a straight line basically. So in this video we will see how to bend with the help of Creo parametric. So let's begin it. So first of all we will select the working directory and uh, I will select working directory in desktop with some specified uh, folder. You must select working directory for uh, making all the files in one folder. We will get, give a name, proper name to it and uh, we will just give a name. Name is not a big matter. Oops a big mistake well first of all get a very much um, proper indication that uh, you have to select in part modeling sheet metal so this is a mistake basically everybody do so you have to do sheet metal in part modeling so here three uh, two types of basically unit system is there you will select uh, as your requirement so this is a uh, menu bar and uh, you have different uh, sort of options to create operations in sheet metal we have to do bending operation for that we need to make a flat sheet uh, first so we will select a plane a reference plane and then we will go for planar in planar basically you create seats of different size according to your sketch so first of all we will create a sketch Uh, sheet thickness we will select 3 mm basically uh, sheet metal is uh, up to 6 mm not more than the 6 mm so now we will go to flat flat is for straight portions flange is for curved and irregular portions in next video I will discuss about the flange also in this video flat you can alter the sketch you can give uh, some dimension according to your requirement So you can change all the dimensions uh, from here. Uh, sometimes in bending, uh, you need not to make a full bend up to the end to end. So you can alter it as you had seen, I had shown you earlier. And uh, you can change, these are the radius type. You can change the different type of radius according to your requirement and uh, technical specifications. And uh, then you just give a tick mark to it and uh, here it is done now uh, the thing the next thing is uh, we will do some more uh, designs design or changes in this 
design and we will go again flat here you can see we had our worked on rectangle we can change it in different user interface according to you uh, what is uh, different uh, shapes what you want for that you can use different options so this is the thing you can hold it and work according to your requirement or just give a dimension which is required for your design parameters and uh, yeah, you can change its angle also. Now, uh, yeah. So, this is the final shape. Now, we will explore some more options uh, in X in part drawing there is extrude so we will try to do here also extrude this is a seat what we have bent now if you want to do some more operations you can do you can give it color you can see it as I am doing this was this was all about the bending and uh, please give me your feedbacks so that I can record some more new great content which can help you and uh, I think I am doing good and uh, I'm you I'm helping you all so please subscribe my channel so that you can get new new updates every time whatever you want during design design during manufacturing you can use all these videos so give me your feedbacks what I should do next which can help you Thank you. Thank you very much.